sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up on the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people and warn people, I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest, a priestess, all floating through that comment section, but also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest, or priestess, is probably going to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away. <laughs> Look at that. On the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will... For them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Apologies for that, okay? There may be some distractions and uh, interruptions during this reading. If we are going to have a part two, it will be in the membership side. That information will be down in the description box below. Now... This may or may not resonate with you. Parts may resonate. Parts may not take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you. You're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a Passover loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. All right. Be mindful. I will not comment on anybody's platform, at least not now. All right. So if you see my picture floating around YouTube or any other place, as a matter of fact, that's not me. So be mindful of that. My readings are closed. The only way to connect with me would be through membership and leaving a comment, okay? So what I'm getting is someone's going to gain clarity about affairs of the heart, okay? Now, somebody needs to accept a divine connection. Now, some religious beliefs believe that Jesus and Mary Magdalena was a couple. Interesting enough, I seen Horace and Hathor, which is another couple here. So this is definitely speaking about partnership. I'm hearing, hearing balance of partnership. This could also indication uh, be an indication of a strong need to communicate. Communicate what's on your heart. Something heartfelt. Okay. Somebody may be into talking loud. This is this is someone that possibly likes to over talk. They don't have self-control, so they want to control everyone else. This would be someone that dominates the room by their tone. They're not soft spoken is what I'm getting. Something is coming to the light here. I'm hearing about a daughter, perhaps. OK, whether you are this daughter or someone else's daughter. We're talking about a manifestation, okay? I'm hearing child of God, so it's going to resonate different. This is about a divine partnership, okay? A spiritual partnership, something that the universal life force source put together. No man shall separate it. But the high priest is being here. This is telling me that someone tries to sugarcoat their involvement. They want to keep it hidden. This would be someone that pretends to have a connection to the divine, but it's all surface, this would be someone that has book smarts, knowledge, and things of that sort. But their vision is cloudy. They're very judgmental. Okay. Yeah. This is someone that does not operate from the heart space. So if you don't operate from the heart space, how can you be a personification of Christ? We're talking about a spiritual leader. We're talking about a sacred feminine. Okay. Something that needs to manifest on the earthly plane. We're talking about a journey of the, soul, the, of the soul, conscious connections and partnerships. This is about abundance. You paying attention to your own call it and be, being self-aware. So you can master something here. Someone feels like if they bind someone's heart space, that they won't be able to manifest this divine connection. All right. Now, yeah, this is definitely speaking about a divine connection. 
Now, so far, we got Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. You could be any other sign, Leo, strong, fire sign. Could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn so far, right? Someone does not want an individual to see things clearly because it would mean that they would have to step into this leadership role. Now, possibly um, they didn't see things clearly because they were stuck in a lower level commitment here. This is, I'm hearing they can't see the forest from the trees. This is something that is no longer connected, um, covered by the divine because this contract is over. This would be a partnership that is not covered. So they're facing a lot of obstacles. With the sun card being in reverse, somebody's very arrogant and egotistical. They also lack the strength to see things clearly because they refuse to take accountability or responsibility for how they show up in the planet. Why is clarity here? Emerald could be significant for some of you. Somebody is in a codependent connection. Possibly you were. Someone doesn't have any peace. They don't want you to have any peace. Matter of fact, this person may even scapegoat you or a lot of different individuals. This is someone that operates surely, sure, solely out of their lower chakras. Okay, you may be feeling sluggish or this person is this person lacks stability here. So they want to lean on others. Why is clarity here? Somebody's coming out of confinement here out of feeling trapped. Somebody could also be coming out of jail. We got the hangman. So someone's put in this time out situation so they could decipher some things, possibly some hidden knowledge, gain some wisdom and things of that sort with the ten of fire. Um, this is definitely speaking about somebody feeling closed off, smothered, suffocated even. All right. So this could be spiritual, um, like a spiritual thing where this person feels trapped. But this could also be a partnership where they feel like they can't get out of it. This person may have a lot of emotions that they hold back and it's causing them possibly to face some sort of illness here. We got Power Shield and Eight of Wind. So this is talking about some sort of deceptive communication, thinking somebody wants freedom, most definitely here, freedom from some sort of restraint. This person feels like they are being crucified. This emperor here, this is somebody that has a divine calling over their life. They are supposed to present something on this earthly plane. This person is paying attention to their environment or they need to. Mary Magdalene, why is this here? Mary Magdalene is divine feminine energy. And we have the high priestess So, uh, on the fence or the high priest. So this is someone... They possibly tried to manipulate some communication surrounding this divine feminine. They possibly tried to block off this divine feminine's connection to source. They may have went to someone. They could be doing this themselves. But this is someone that does not use their intuition. And if they do have their intuition, it's clouded. Their insight is clouded. It's blocked here. All right. They may be blocked off from this divine feminine energy. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody didn't want someone to be seen as a leader. Why is the sun card here in reverse? We got the mother of wind. So somebody's very cutthroat here. This is someone that will cut you down with their words. All right. Somebody may be. Yeah, somebody very egotistical about someone's work here. Someone's sister could be involved. This could be a mother and daughter, sister and sister dynamic. Uh, what else? Auntie or something like that. Why is environment here? Somebody's obsessed with control and with creating some sort of illusion surrounding somebody's foundation. Why is our environment here, please? You could be seeing a, not, a lot of number synchronicities for four. Eight, 19, 91 could be significant. 81, 18 could be significant. Why is 44 here? I feel like there's a, stro uh, a slow progression. 44, why is this here? Two of wins. So somebody wanted someone to be blocked off. Or they wanted you to feel secluded in your communication. 
They may have wanted this person to block you. They didn't want you to see things clearly or they didn't want people to see something clearly about you. Somebody feels like they're kicked out of heaven here. They feel like they're being punished. What is this? We have the 10 of earth in reverse. So this is somebody that that they're having some financial difficulties as well as um, situations having to do with their home. OK, this could be a broken marriage, a broken belief system. This could be a fall from grace. Somebody's going to need strength to persevere through this obstacle. I feel like hold on, yeah, yeah. somebody is working with a female entity. It could be a mother and a daughter, a mother and a sister. Somebody could be working with someone's sister. If this is not an actual woman, this is an energy of someone that is disconnected from their feminine energy. This would be someone that does anything for money. And when they do not get what they want, they act out. They possibly even go enraged. OK, this is someone that lacks honesty. I feel like this is a group that was working together with three of, of uh, Earth being here in reverse. I feel like these individuals are taking major losses right now. Um, yeah. This has something to do with somebody's work. OK, so we have the six of earth in reverse. And on top of that is the six of works in reverse. So this is speaking about debt. Somebody has a lot of debt because they deal with they they operate out of their ego and pride. OK, they're very forceful. OK, I would say ambitious, but this is someone that will do anything. This is someone that is in survival mode at this time with the two of wands being here. Uh, I mean, the two of wind. This is telling me that you blocked off this energy or possibly they blocked you or even their intuition is blocked. This is someone that did not want you to multitask. They didn't want you to get any new opportunities. They wanted you to be disconnected from your soul. OK, or your soul mate. All right. With the seven of earth, this is indication of something diabolical, sinister even. All right. Somebody wanted you to give up. And we will be taking part two of this over to the other side. All right. The hangman, why is this here? Yeah, we got the nine of swords. Somebody's having nightmares. Okay. Somebody may also be seeing some visions of what's to come with the seven of winds being here on the fence like that. This is telling me that this is somebody that uh, either has weak boundaries or they were trying to break your spiritual connection. All right. This person is in the energy of having to give up. They may have thought that you gave up because there was some sort of disconnect here. This person was blocked off for you from you. What I'm getting is. Possibly they were working with somebody's spouse here. All right. This person may have blocked off communication, but from not just you, but from everybody in their environment, especially people that they work with, with the seven of earth being here in reverse like that. Yeah. All right. So we got the nine of wands. We got the seven of wands on the fence. And we also have the nine of wands in on the fence so this person didn't have clarity i feel like this person may have dreamt about you or they daydream a lot this person may be having visions of a past life or visions of things that may have happened to you because somebody's intuition was blocked and more than likely somebody hired a third party to do so so now somebody's in this energy of frustration OK, and not just that they're frustrated because they're fearful of someone gaining clarity about this divine couple. Now, here we have the three of pentacles again, the, the, the work that was being done on this divine couple. Why is eight of wind here on the fence, please? Somebody did not want you to have hope, hope for the future. OK, they didn't want you to be free. Free from some from some sort of scapegoating. They wanted someone to drop their shield or possibly put a shield up. Yeah. Somebody does not want you to be single or whoever this person is to be single. They may have even said that you were in a partnership with the nine of pentacles being here on the fence. Somebody works a lot or they were working against this divine uh, being. OK, why is the high priestess here on the fence, please? Yeah, somebody's having some financial setbacks because they went up against the spiritual teacher. 
okay? Some of you, your lineage go back before C, before BCE, before Common Era. We got four of uh, swords on the fence. This is somebody feeling burnt out because of some sort of spell work. Okay, this is somebody that's trying to tap into the divine feminine energy. They may have even lost their spiritual ranking here because they were working against someone that is supposed to be, I won't say tribe member, but this is somebody that they had no business going up against. Okay, so now when they're tapping into this divine feminine energy, they're getting more brain fog, more blocked intuition. And excuse me. If I'm stuttering and I'm all the because I'm channeling the energy of this person and the evil works that they did. This is somebody that lacks maturity. All right. They're definitely operating from a lower vibrational state. This is someone that is abusive with their control here. This person may be feeling disgrace. There could be a lot of arguments happening between a mother and a daughter or a sister and a sister. Again, if this is a male, this is a male that doesn't see they're disconnected from feminine energy. Somebody definitely, you may have blocked someone off that you had a soul partnership with or this person did. Somebody may also um, been demoted or lost a position. Two of when, why is this here? I just seen the justice. The hermit. So this person is in this energy of reflecting. Again, I do feel like they ghosted everyone in their environment, including you. This person is thinking about their embers here and how cutthroat they were, the things that they invested in because they were under some sort of illusion. All right. This person is going through some sort of mental break is what I'm getting. Whoever is working against these couples, okay, our couple, the garden, why is this here? Seven of Cups wanted to come out. So this is speaking about some sort of spell work. And here we have it. Somebody definitely lost a position. They may have wanted you to lose a position. They wanted you to give up. This is hard work with no reward. This person is in the energy of having to watch out for their environment here. All right. If they have any um, partnerships, they're all at questions at this time. Okay, definitely the King of Pentacles. This person may have lost some sort of funding. Somebody spoke some truth about what was taking place in the regards of this spiritual teacher and this divine feminine energy. Why is the the brother of wind? Somebody's brother could be involved. This could also be a passed over a brother. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This is someone that is spiteful. They're always in their head trying to figure out some diabolical plan here to keep somebody from taking a leadership role. And we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. Okay, so some of you, you move forward. You're in the place that you're supposed to be. However, this person feels stuck because they're dealing with these people that they're trying to make sense out of. This is someone that does not want to believe that their friends and family members are against them. Okay, I'm hearing to each his own and good luck with that. We have the Knight of Swords. Somebody came and spoke some truth about a new beginning. Okay, or they want to. Why is Sister of Earth here? We got the King of Pentacles. So these are people that this individual takes care of. I feel like this could be somebody's daughter or maybe um, a young. This could be two different females. If this is a masculine, this is two different females that they're taking care of. Um, if this is like a romance type of thing. OK, and this is why this person is full of ego and pride. For some of you, they may have a child with this person. I thought that they had a child with this person. They could have also got into an argument with a mother, uh, like an in-law, a mother, and a child's mother. Somebody may also be realizing that a child is not theirs. Now they have their defenses up. This person may be trying to blame you for some reason. Why is the... Yeah. Somebody didn't want... They didn't want some something to be spoken, some sort of clarity here. Somebody's upset with your creativity as well as the protection that is over you. Why is mother a win? This is somebody that does not believe in a higher power, okay? 
This is someone that believes in control. If they use spirits and energies, it's just for control purposes only. Okay. Why is mother of wind here on the fence? This is someone that will not nurture you. This is someone that is not down to earth. Again, when you when you don't do what this person says, they get very spiteful and vindictive. This is about a new offer. Look at that. Somebody wants to invest in their divine feminine. And somebody's in-law, somebody's law, a family member, someone that they thought they had a child with is getting in the way. Somebody's facing some sort of obstacle. And I feel like this person went ghost. They ghosted someone. They also may be speaking with a lawyer or law enforcement with the King of Swords, um, the King of Swords being here. What else do we need? To... Somebody's not getting funded. Yeah. Somebody spoke some sort of truth surrounding their family member. Are they realizing why they're facing judgment with the Ten of Cups being here next to the judgment card? Okay. Somebody is definitely being judged here in... in... It's taking place, whatever they did in secret is taking place in their environment. So I feel like this is a group of people that were working against someone that had a high ranking here and they didn't realize this. This could also be a high priest, a Sangoma, a witch, a warlock, a wizard that may be experiencing a mental break. I'm here and learning the hard way. Somebody has to start all over with the full card being here. This is a choice. This is about somebody's soulmate. All right. What's at the bottom? Yeah, this is about somebody's wealth. This is something that was passed down. I'm going to go ahead and take this reading to the other side. What is the party messages for those that this may resonate? Look at that. Surrender your ego. Cultivating gratitude, be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. This is someone that I'm telling you, this person does not believe in a higher power, which I mean, to each his own. However, when they go up, <laughs> when they go up against a spiritual teacher, someone that has um, backing, um, they're being proven wrong here. And it's causing this person to have a mental break. OK, this person can't rest. They're burnt out. Whoever this high priest is or high priestess is, is they were working against this divine feminine. I'm hearing as a whole. Yeah, this person can't sleep. OK, for some of you, this person is trying to send you like spiritually attack you while you are sleeping. And what's taking place is that energy is being transmuted. I believe in the last couple of readings, fire came here. In this position, and this is definitely an indication of fire with Mary Magdalene being here. Somebody was trying to break up a spiritual partnership, and this is how this person was. Um, this was something that was faded with the will of fortune being here. But whoever this person is that is doing this work here, they were being taught a lesson. So it's kind of like. It's kind of like this was a faded situation. So whether or not if you're working with your divine counterpart or not, this was all supposed to happen for everyone to be face judgment here. Everyone involved, whether if you know these people or not, we got surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout. Slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body and spirit. So this is someone that was trying to like. Make you agitated. But I'm hearing false allegory. So this is someone that operates from a, um, a different um, paradigm here. All right. So this could be someone that is into the dark stuff. But what I'm getting is I'm here. I keep hearing false allegory. So, again, for me, these spiritual leaders are a vibration. They're not a person. OK, they're parts of us. Right. So this essentially, this person doesn't believe in themselves if they don't believe in a higher power, whether if they call that person Christ, Yahshua, Yahweh, whatever, Yahweh, whatever it is, 
they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe either operating from a higher perspective. And so they met this spiritual teacher here. I'm hearing going insane. Somebody's going insane. This person is putting in a lot of work. Look at that. Magic guardian. Unlock the magic within. So I'm telling you, this was a test. Somebody's addicted. This is giving me, okay, I look down, I seen the four. Somebody possibly been doing this to, to someone for four years, three years, seven years. If they haven't been doing this to one specific, nine years even, to one specific person, they've been, they've been in this field for that amount of time. And I'm hearing they never encountered an energy like this. It's because we're going through a paradigm shift. Our environment, everybody's really sensitive right now. Okay, I'm hearing going green. Somebody could be getting solar plant, solar uh, pan, panel, paneling or something like that with the garden here in reverse. And I'm actually seeing something catch a fire. We got surrender to creativity, surrender frustration. Okay, for those that are interested, I'll check you out on the other side. I will attach a link. Well, not a link. <clears throat> there will be a link in the description box. However, I will attach a little clip at the end of this video so you can see the different tiers and the perks of each tier. For those of you that are my members, I'll see you on the other side. Deuces.